Hey everybody, Mr. Regan here, and today we're going to be looking at how to complete uh, your simulation missions uh, in our Amplify page. That's going to help us continue to explore that investigating question, and you can continue confirming our results from our lab and the labs that you guys just created. So part of this mission is going to be looking at the same idea as if we apply the same force uh, to different objects, how might that affect them differently? We're going to do that and complete a couple missions today um, within our simulator uh, in order to continue exploring this question and hopefully be able to answer it with some good solid detail using our different science terms. So to do that, we're going to be looking at completing three missions, uh, 2.1 motionless objects, 2.1 moving objects, and 2.1 a challenge mission. Now for each of these, there's going to be three major parts that you complete. The first part is going to be where you dive into the mission. You're going to follow some directions and then you're going to be screenshotting your results at the end so that you have um, data that you can go back and look at as time goes on um, and to show kind of what you did. Um, the second part is where you're going to be doing some mission reflection questions, kind of explaining what you did, what happened and why those sort of big ideas, really putting words to what you're observing in the simulator. The third and final part is where you guys are going to record data from the data table um, along with kind of a final observation. And then you're going to be submitting what you did for each of those missions. And you're going to see them broken down into different tasks. So, for example, this very first one, you're obviously going to start by clicking the start um, button here to begin the very first 2.1 motionless objects. The directions here, I know they're a little lengthy. Take your time working through them. <clears throat> We're in no rush. Um, but as you go through the directions, you're going to see what it's trying to set up and why as you begin exploring it, as you begin to click through the different buttons and such. OK, so that would be your part one where you complete the mission and then you take a screenshot of what you did and put it into here. Make sure you're taking a screenshot of the analysis page. OK, from there, we would go into part two, which would be the reflection questions that we have here. This is really where you need to explain kind of what you did, why you did that sort of thing. Make sure you're using good detail. And then last but not least, you're going to be completing a data table and amplify using what happened in your analysis page using that data. And there will be a final reflection question kind of at the bottom of the page as well. Make sure you hit that save and continue button. Otherwise, you might lose your work, okay, lose your progress. And then you're going to kind of start the same thing over again into that next set of missions here in task six. And again, you'll see the three parts and so on. So as we continue to explore this investigating question within our sim, we're going to really begin to hopefully be able to put words to our ideas and thoughts about what happens if we apply the same force on different objects, how might that affect them, and hopefully we'll be able to confirm our results from our previous lab. So at this point, go ahead and complete the mission survey. If you have questions, reach out to me. Otherwise, good luck.